Hey guys, it's Nicole. So we'll be doing things. Um, we're going to do the love update. As you guys know, for the middle of the month, I do not do a full love read. I just do a love update so you guys can know where you stand um, in love. It's not for single or couples. It's just love energy. Um, so if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, you can you know check back later for the weekly read and see how that does or the daily read. So we're going to pull a card of guidance to start. And then we're going to pull a romance oracle to see what energy we have in love. After we do that, we're going to pull the actual tarot to see what messages we have. And I am going to be incorporating the Karma Sutra cards at the end of the reading to see sexually what energy you guys are going to be presenting. Um, when we're talking about sexuality, and, and I don't I want people to get on here and, you know, try to bash. There's nothing wrong with sexuality. You feel what I'm trying to say? It's sexual, the sexual connection between two people is a physical and a spiritual connection type of cooperation this has nothing to do with fucking um but it does have to do with two willing whole people coming together to experience a very passionate and a very spiritual type of energy together um it does i don't know how to keep explaining this to people um so that they don't take it the wrong way we're not pulling the comma sutra so the comma sutra cards to just be talking about sex. We're actually pulling these cards to see what energy we can have around sex in order to manifest things that we desire moving forward. Whether it's desiring to bring a connection close together or to actually manifest things physically within your life, because this is actually what this is for. Um, if you guys look up the Kama Sutra, it is about a spiritual sexual act. It has nothing to do with fucking like in Western world. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? Like porn and stuff. Even though those cards look like porn, I'm be real with you, it has nothing to do with that. So let's get started. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages or guidance do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? We're going to pull a guidance card first. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid August 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages for Leo. Whoa. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. So we have. Angel of new life. It says an exciting new chapter of your life is about to begin, is about to unfold. <laughs> so with underlying underneath all that, it says God of the arts. It's about the artist within you that is trying to emerge. Okay, then. All right. We see a lot of rainbows. We could be talking about the LGBTQ community, you know, or we could just be talking about having happiness because rainbows represent happiness um, in your life in regards to the romantic or you know, physical connections that you have. So let's see what messages we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. We have flirt and new love. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and there's a need for you to extend your lighthearted energy. Um, children could be a factor in your love life at the moment. Let's pull one power. We'll actually pull these at the end. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages, guidance for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In love, this is for mid August 2019. Messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is in love, the mid August 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. I have pulled the Seven of Swords underneath here, so either there is some deception within your love life, okay? Some of you guys could be escaping a situation. Can you see that? This little white screen pop up here, so I don't know what that's about. But some of you guys could be escaping a situation, could be moving away from something, leaving some things behind. You see how she's leaving those swords behind? I'll be trying to get it to, uh, there you go. You see how she's leaving those swords behind? So some of you guys could be escaping a situation, leaving something behind. You could also be being deceptive. Four of swords here, someone needs to be in alignment. Um, needs to be in alignment with their thoughts, be in alignment with changes. There could be um, a lot of things happening beyond the scenes. You're just kind of taking a break from that. Page of uh, Swords here, there needs to be some truth being delivered. There's a message of truth coming. Someone needs to shoot that arrow. They need to tell the truth. Five of Cups here, there's some disappointment here. That's why someone won't tell the truth because they regret. Um, they regret. They know the truth and they regret what the truth is. So someone regrets the truth um, about the past. There needs to be communication. Page of Cups here. I mean, the Knight of Cups here. Someone's holding on to an offer, holding on to their heart, needing to balance their emotions so that they can present it. All right. So let's see here. 
We're about to use the thoughts to clarify. Why is this four of swords here? We got the two of swords. That's six swords. Someone is blocking moving forward, needing to be in alignment with that movement, needing to be in alignment with seeing something clearly. So maybe that's why someone's going within themselves so that they can see clearly about something. Ten pentacles here about something that either a relationship. Someone needs to make a decision about their own wealth, about their own stability. King of swords here. There needs to be a decision that is made. Someone is at a state of thinking. This is like, I'm, let me think about it. That's what it is. It's like, let me think about it. So with the Page of Swords here, I really feel like someone's delaying um, the truth. Three of Wands here, trying to have patience, getting on the right path, looking out to the universe to see if I'm making the right decision. Um, Eight of Pentacles here, I really feel like someone needs to put in work on getting on the right path, releasing the delays, releasing themselves from being at the state of stalemate. Someone's at a stalemate. Five of Cups here on the surrounding energy. Death here. Someone has regret about making a decision. Okay. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Someone has a regret about some type of conflicts. Um, regret that they're in conflict with. Someone has regret about not making a decision here is what I'm getting. Either not making a decision here or because they're being discerning a situation has ended. There are some conflicts. I feel like the conflicts is what someone regrets. So someone made a conflicting decision here that has to do with some deception. Could have been a queen of swords, could have been a, a, an air sign, could have been a Scorpio. I feel like it's a feminine energy, though, with the queen of swords. I feel like someone here now is feeling in conflict about allowing a situation or deciding to end the situation here. Um, I don't feel like... I don't feel like they ended the situation. I feel like someone has a lot of despair about a situation ending. Um, and someone may be, you know, in conflict with their decisions. So we got the Ace of Swords here. I feel like there's mental clarity. Someone has mental clarity. Someone's dealing with regret and the surrounding energy. Either you or someone else you're dealing with. Dealing in conflict about something that has ended. Ace of Swords. This could be Ten Swords. Ace to the Ten. Double here. Someone here knows that a situation was toxic. So they're allowing their concerns to fade away in order to gain um, material happiness. Now, you could be dealing with the Capricorn here, but Ace of Swords to the Ten of Swords, Devil back to the Ace of Swords. So someone here is um, seeing that a situation has ended, but having fear about really moving towards something new or moving or speaking about something new. So someone could be moving forward, but having some anxiety about moving you could have, someone could have moved into a relationship with someone else and have an anxiety because it has something to do with children. Six of Cups here. I definitely had children underneath there. So there could be some deception because someone's not speaking their truth about why they made a decision to retreat um, from something or to block some sort of commitment. So Six of Cups here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Justice here. Foolish man. Someone did take a look. Someone took a look. Uh, look, look, look. Someone took a leap of faith and manifested something that they desired. They they desired. Um, could have been going back to some to a soulmate. Could have been making an offer here to someone from the past. Justice here, Libra energy here, Aquarian energy here, Virgo Gemini energy here. This is about someone taking a leap of faith, doing what is right for them, and manifesting. Um, it looks like Ace of Wands, a new opportunity that brings them happiness. So someone manifested something new that is bringing them happiness. They took a leap of faith, and I feel like there's some conflict around that. Someone may feel, um, they may be going back and forth within their head, feeling unstable about this new type of thing. Someone feels in conflict about it. I got five swords. I'm feeling regret. Maybe about removing themselves from something of the past, and I feel like the regret has to do with kids. So maybe someone has to walk away from a situation dealing with their children and they feel regret about that. All right. So let's pull. We're going to pull uh, a power of love oracle and then we're going to do the Homer Sutra so we can kind of break up that energy. What messages do we have for Leo? Okay. We have empathy. Okay. So it's, it's understandable that you guys feel empathy here. You feel and understand the emotions of others in the service of love. With that being said, don't allow your friendliness and loyalty to keep you stuck in a situation that you do not need to be in. Um, and feeling empathy for a person is fine. It yeah, means you're an empath. You're empathetic. It's a normal human reaction. But that in no way, shape, or form says that you should go back into a situation or you should be deceptive and extend your energy towards something you're not wanting to be in. So let's see what messages we have. 
we're going to be pulling five stars from the Karma Sutras so we can see what um, what guidance we have dealing with the, your sexual health. Someone's in conflict. Uh, it's looked like two people here. So there could be a man that's in conflict about two people. Um, there could be someone waiting for you to come into their life or come into them. All right. You know, my card. Two more. Ten of wands here. Is this a ten of wands? I think this is a wand. Yeah, it got to be a wand because literally it looks like somebody bending over backwards. I mean, it, it dead ass looks like somebody bending over backwards. Let me see if this is a fucking wand. Yeah, it's a wand because that's a cup. Y'all, these cards. So, I feel as though in the past someone may have bent over backwards for a situation. Um, really, you see that? She like legit bending over backwards. Someone could have bent over backwards within the situation, feeling in conflict about what decision to make or feeling conflicted about, someone's feeling conflicted about choosing a new spot for their wand, okay? Um, in the surrounding energy, what do we have here in the surrounding energy? Five of Pentacles here. So someone does feel out of lack. And as you see in this picture, someone is not receiving um, penetration. So someone in your surrounding energy does feel at a lack with you. They feel like they're not getting what they desire from you. Um, in the subconscious here, we have, I like these cards. So let me figure out what this is. Like y'all know, I'm not really good with, um, oh, y'all don't know. I'm not really good with Roman numerals, Roman numerals. So I have to look and see what the hell they are. The world. Oh, so a cycle is complete. Someone is ending something to begin something new. This is the world completeness. So I feel like here, and you see there is still no penetration. There. If you guys can see that. All right. So there's no penetration here. Someone may be holding someone up, but they're not penetrating. They're almost at the tip of moving into something. So I feel like you're getting out of a six. I like these cards because they're very descriptive in more ways than one. Um, I feel like someone feels at a lack because they're not getting what they was de what they feel like they deserve from you. You're in conflict here because you're choosing to move towards something else. You've bent over backwards within the situation, and now you're 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 to the you're at the tip. Like literally, he's at the tip. You're at the tip of a whole new world, a whole new type of, of energy. Um, so the outcome here. What can we manifest with the outcome here? Two of Swords. Um, we can manifest. So I feel like you need to be persistent in getting out of this because I feel like you're still kind of stuck. With the two of swords here, you're most definitely stuck. Nine of wands as an underlying energy, needing to overcome the conflicts. So some of you guys are needing to overcome the conflicts here. Um, I feel like you're bent out of shape about a situation. Like literally, I feel like you're bent out of shape. Both of these, they're bent out of shape, but you're needing to be persistent in overcoming the conflicts, removing the... And then even here with the two of swords, you see that elephant. El elephants represent wisdom. Don't come in here. Don't, uh-uh. Get out of here. I'm reading. Get out. Um, the two of swords represent mental conflicts. So I feel like you need to find the wisdom to overcome the mental conflicts and really move toward what you're desiring. That's, that's pretty goddamn descriptive. So this is all I have. Until next time. Peace. What do you